So it's the erector uh, trial is the, the foam um, product trial. So this is reflumalast 0.3%, but in a foam format. So basically the, the cream format is put in with a propellant. Um, so it's delivered as a, as a convenient foam to use in hair bearing areas because the cream is more difficult to apply to hair bearing areas. So the, the study included patients who were 12 years and above. They were required to have psoriasis on both the scalp and the body. For the scalp, the IgA had to be at least moderate, so moderate or severe. And for the um, for the body, it had to be at least mild, so mild, moderate, or severe. Less than 25% body surface area involvement. And then for the scalp, they had to have greater than 10% of the scalp area involved to be considered um, for this trial. And the PASI score had to be greater than or equal to two. The patients were then randomized in a two-to-one fashion to receive either the foam uh, once a day for eight weeks or the vehicle foam once a day for eight weeks. And then at eight weeks, the primary endpoint uh, was actually co-primary endpoints of scalp IgA success and body IgA success. As you know, IgA success is achieving clear or almost clear. So an IgA of zero or one with a two-grade improvement uh, from baseline. So for the body IgA, because some patients had mild to start, they had to be completely clear to get that two grade impro uh, improvement to be considered uh, a success. So yeah, great results uh, with this trial. So just maybe to, to start by saying for the, the scalp IgA, about 85% of patients had at moderate 15% severe disease. And then in the body, about a quarter of patients actually had mild. So those are the ones that had to get to be clear and two thirds of patients were in the moderate category. But for IgA success, two thirds of patients achieved IgA success of the scalp, which is great. Two thirds getting clear, almost clear in a very difficult to treat area such as the scalp. And then for the body, it was 45% IgA success. Uh, which was actually even a little bit better than we saw with the cream uh, when it was used on the body. So that was, uh, those results were great as expected or better than, than we thought based on what we knew from using the cream. But we had the added benefit now of being able to treat the scalp, which we were not able to, um, to do when we were doing the cream trials. As far as getting patients completely clear, that is, you know, one of the targets we try to get for psoriasis patients. Now that we have better treatments, our targets are a bit higher. So achieving clear scalp and clear body was done in 40% of patients um, clearing the scalp uh, with the foam compared to 9% on the vehicle foam, and then 28% of patients with clearing the body compared to 11% with the vehicle foam. The other important outcomes for this trial were with pruritus, which is also a, a huge problem for scalp psoriasis. One of the, with pruritus, patients will scratch or rub the area and actually kebnerize scalp psoriasis. So itch improvement in that area is quite a significant thing. So uh, scalp itch NRS and worst itch NRS um, for patients who had at least a score of four to 10 at baseline. So considered, uh, Scalp itch NRS success and worst itch NRS success would be a four point improvement or greater from baseline. And that was in about two thirds of patients on both the scalp and the body. Uh, but I think for me, one of the, the most um, interesting findings from this trial is that scalp itch NRS was significantly better than um, the vehicle foam within one day, 24 hours. So that immediate itch relief for some patients will uh, improve adherence, They're, they feel better, as opposed to waiting to for things to look better. And, and that's one of the, the issues with psoriasis, as I mentioned, the scalp uh, paritis. 